Help! I'm being bullied by Linux nerds. Someone needs to come save me. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the funniest thing to me. Um, so, every once in a while, in real life, I will run across someone who uses Linux. And I have this conversation with whoever this person is, and it always goes exactly the same way. Here's how it goes. Uh, you know, they're like, oh, you use Linux, blah, 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 that's interesting. And then the question arises, what distribution do you use? And usually they ask first because they care and I don't. Um, and they'll ask, you know, what distribution do they use? And in the back of their mind, here's what I've realized. In the back of their mind, every person I meet secretly wants me to use Ubuntu, okay? And there's a reason for that. And I'll say something like, you know, whatever distro I'm using, usually Arch Linux, um, you know, I've used Void and Ardex Parabola, different things. Um, but usually Arch Linux, and I'll say that. And, you know, I know that there's a stereotype, which we're going to talk about, that Arch Linux is somehow a hard, an elite distribution. It isn't. Uh, but I'll say Arch Linux, and I won't say it with any kind of gravitas, but that immediately evokes a kind of felt inadequacy in a lot of Linux users. And it, it makes no sense to me, uh, let me be clear. But what will invariably happen is the person will say, oh, you use, you know, Arch or what, Void or whatever. Um, well, I'm a noob, I use uh, Ubuntu, and they'll say it apologetically, you know, like, as if using Ubuntu is some kind of, like, crime, weird crime. And here's the thing that I've realized. Um, that a lot of people talk about Linux elitism, okay? They have this idea that, oh, there are big, mean, big, mean Linux nerds out there who are going to make fun of you if you don't use all the programs that they want you to, okay? Uh, it's, here's my belief. I've been using Linux for, I don't know, three or four years or something like that. I do not think Linux elitists exist. I am not familiar with them, not in, in real life. Now, there are people who will recommend you to use more, you know, less accessible programs that have, I don't know, yield a lot of benefits for you, but I've never really seen someone who will lord over others. Uh, you, you know, usually when you meet someone who actually knows Linux, and let's uh, say you meet, let's say I meet someone who knows a lot more about Linux than me, usually, there is so much mutual excitement in just finding someone who knows Linux that no one is going to no one's going to nitpick what programs or distributions you use. So that's the thing first off, and I think on the internet as well, you know, it's like people nowadays they don't understand memes. Like when people are uh, having distro wars between each other, like it's literally just a joke. Don't be autistic about it. Like I, I cannot understand this. I I do not think that there is a single actual Linux user who legitimately thinks they're better or worse than anyone else. Well, there are people who think they're worse, but there are people who, no one who really is a Linux elitist out there. I, I, I am not familiar with them. Uh, and I think a lot of it is just like people misunderstanding memes, you know? People will get into Linux and they'll, they'll get bullied because they, I don't know, used system D or something like that. And it's not like, I, well, it's not like anyone cares, you know? No one cares if you use uh, Ubuntu or something like that. Now, if, if let's say someone uh, you're talking to doesn't like System D, well, if they don't like it, they'll probably explain to you why, and they're not doing it to dab on you. They're doing it to explain why they think you shouldn't use it, and you have the option to change. But whatever hap you know, it, what happens is that you know people get imprinted on the software that they use for you know no reason because it's convenient because it's in the default and install of Ubuntu. And they get these feelings of inadequacy whenever they someone is doing something else. And what I'm trying to say in this video, I'll go ahead and get to the point, um, is that like people who are, and this goes to anything in life, but definitely using Linux distributions just because you know there's such a huge world, um, you can't get in the mindset where you constantly feel inadequate about what you're doing, um, especially if it's a learning experience. I mean, I, I've talked about the same kind of thing in a you know, programming in general. Um, I, I remember I did a video a while ago on, uh, it was something on Python, right? And it's sort of, it used to be a meme on my channel, maybe it still is, that, uh, you know, everyone hates Python, you know? Because well, why? Python is the, you know, first language you learn nowadays if you take computer science. So it's fun to just laugh at Python. Now, of course, there are real reasons not to use it for um, some projects because it is, you know, one of those higher level languages. And if it's, you know, run, it, it runs a little slower than some other languages that are quote unquote harder. Um, so there are reasons not to use it, but, you know, fundamentally what happens is that people 
uh, when they learn Python, a lot of times they can just get imprinted on it. They identify with that language in the same way that they, they identify with using Ubuntu. And anyone who comes around and, you know, in to totally good spirits tells them, hey, you should probably not do, you know, you should probably not write this in Python. Uh, hey, you know, maybe you should try other distributions. You might actually enjoy them. Uh, but for whatever reason, people have this sort of egocentric mindset when they interpret everything as like a, a kind of uh, like assault against them. And it's so weird. And I'll tell you, on the internet, you know, the sarcasm, the irony doesn't necessarily, it's like not always clear. But in real life, it's a lot easier. Like, you will never see someone in real life unless they're just like, they, I don't know, they just overdosed on memes. You're never going to see a Linux user in real life just like make fun of you. Uh, for the distribution you use. And, um, you know, I, 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 the reason I do this is because I've seen it a lot of times people see me on the internet and I'll be, you know, I'll just have a video where I'm using Arch Linux or something like that. Oh, here's how to do this on Arch. And I'll get these total weirdos uh, in the comment section. Actually, everyone's basically a, a total weirdo, but these particular types of total weirdos who will say things like, um, Oh, you're just doing this to, to flex on us and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Arch users are so elitist. Like, I, I literally have a channel dedicated to making computer usage and using Linux easier for people. And they, st they think I'm, like, trying to be an elitist in doing it. And here, here's the other thing about so-called Linux elitist, uh, elitists. Um, you're damned if you do, you're damned if, you're, if you don't, okay? Because let's say that I use Arch and... Um, you know, I, I'm always telling people, hey, you should try Arch. It's, it's a good distribution. Well, then, you know, I'm, you know, that's bad for me, right? Because, oh, he's, he won't stop talking about Arch. He's always flexing on people how he uses this elite distribution. Well, what if I don't tell people? Okay, what if I, say, what if I don't mention it? What if I'm like, no, you use Ubuntu? Then you get accused of, oh, well, he's just trying to keep it an elite club. He doesn't want anyone to join. And it's the same thing with using Linux generally, you know? Uh, the same thing, normies look at Linux the same way. And they're based, again, they're based on the same kind of implicit inadequacy, okay? I mean, here's my theory about normies who don't use Linux. Basically, all of them, I mean, and I was, I was like this as well when I used to use Windows and stuff. I sort of knew Linux was out there, and I sort of knew the advantages of a free ecosystem. But I would make up, I would make up reasons for not using it. Now, the real reason I didn't use it is I'm just not familiar with it. And that's, a, that's an okay reason not to use Linux if you don't know. Uh, you don't know the benefits. You don't know how to, you know, benefit from it and stuff like that. That's a fine reason not to use it. Like, I'm not blaming anyone who, who isn't familiar. But, you know, to pretend that there's some other reason for that is sort of silly. And, uh, you know, people who, a lot of people in Linux will say stuff like, they'll make up reasons for, you know, why I have to use Ubuntu, why I have to do this, when the people around them are not trying to bully them. They're just trying to, like, dude, just try it out. Like, it's, it's not too difficult to, uh, uh, like, it's not an issue of elitism or anything like that. It's just like, well, why don't you just do it? I mean, <laughs> and, and again, like, I think a lot of it is, like, people, people see memes on the internet, and, uh, you know, oh, they see arch memes. Oh, look at these arch people. They're so, they're so mean. They're always talking about it. Look at the people who use Gentoo and blah, blah, blah. And they're always dabbing on how much smarter they are than you. Uh, and, you know, the thing is, excuse me, I had to pee. Uh, the thing is, you know, I, I don't want to say like we're all one big ha happy family or something like that, because that's really lame. Um, but no one in Linux is really that antagonistic to other people. Um, so we, going ahead, here's my recommendation to people who are new using Linux. And again, this applies to everything else in your life, frankly, because I think there's a tendency for people, I think that the idea of elitism is overblown. Like it does not exist in the way that people think. Like people who are skilled at something, they do not spend their time thinking about how much better they are than others, okay? That just does not, or maybe, I don't know, maybe everyone else does. I don't, okay? And I don't think other people who are genuinely skilled uh, find it pleasurable that they're just so much smarter than other people. I think what ends up happening is you, you take your skills for granted. You forget what other people know. And, uh, you know, that's a benefit to them in the sense that, you know, you're not going to dab on them for being stupid. Um, but it's also sort of... Uh, you know, it maybe isn't the best for them. There are a lot of videos that I don't do because I sort of have the idea that everyone knows about them. And then I'll get really basic questions because I sort of forget how, not how dumb people are, but, you know, how much they're not familiar with. And, you know, I'm not, no one is really motivated. Um, you know, once you attain a certain level of skill, 
you're you're always looking ahead, not behind. You're not looking at like how dumb you used to be and what a great opportunity it is to show how superior you are. Um, you're thinking of it in terms of you know this is this is what I can do. I can show other people what I can do. Um, but the thing is, people who are actually elitist, uh, if there are any in Linux, you know, it's just people who are in it for the wrong reasons. You know what I mean? And again, I. I legitimately, I've been around, been in this, I don't, I hate the word community. I, such a gay word, okay? In this community, quote unquote, for uh, several, no, I'm not going to, I disavow that word. Um, but I, I've been using Linux for a while. I've been hanging around people who use Linux. And I legitimately don't think I can find anyone who's actually elitist, okay? Now, I think there are people who do things for dumb reasons. Um, I, I've, ta I've done videos on like, uh, what is it, the system D issue which I think is sort of overblown. Um, but that is, even that is not elitism. Uh, it's just people who run with particular argu arguments for what they believe. When you call someone an elitist, you sort of diminish the actual thought that they put into what they're, they're saying. And it's a way for, when you call someone an elitist, it's just a way to, um, I, I guess, say, oh, their opinions, it's weird. It, their opinions don't matter because they know more than me. It's totally backwards. And um, I remember in a video, I think it was by Chris Acapinti, he made the point that in technology, we have this weird mindset where um, people who are, are more skilled are less worth listening to. Like if you, do something, um, if you do something really impressive on the computer, that means you're a smart person. And um, you know, if you're a, a normie out there, well, you shouldn't listen to a smart person because they can just magically do things that you can't. So you have to take advice from people who are below you. That's the mindset, you know, if I tell someone, um, I think the example that Chris used is, hey, you should use Firefox for this or something like that. You know, people say, oh, well, you're a nerd, man. I mean, you know too much about this. Of course, you're gonna use that. I have to do the exact opposite of what you're doing, uh, which is sort of, I mean, imagine having that mindset in anything else. All right, so anyway, that's about it. Sorry if I sounded, win I sound winded. I'm walking through this really tall grass. It does not look tall, but to move my feet through this really hurts. I don't know why. Anyway, I got to get back to my house. Um, so I'll see you guys. Don't be an elitist, but more importantly, don't don't assume that everyone around you is an elitist. Uh, really, when you do that, you're just tacitly assuming that people are better than you. And I'm not a motivational speaker, but I mean, focus on yourself instead of other people. Whatever.